Hi everyone, welcome to another video of mine. Today we will be discussing another airline, this time on probably one of the most dominant airlines in the industry at this time, that is of course Emirates. There were so many candidates regarding airlines for this episode, however I decided to opt for Emirates because their past, present and future certainly intrigues me enough to make a video on it. In this video we will specifically go over their rise, current fleet, future orders and how they have put a new lease of life in the Airbus A380 program. Emirates are an airline that is based in Dubai if you were unaware. The airline is the largest in the Middle East and operates 3,600 flights per week just from its hub in Dubai. Throughout the years of its operation, Emirates has grown to become one of the most dominant faces in the airline industry and can be seen at most airports around the globe. The airline is the fourth largest airline in the world when it comes to passenger kilometres flown and the second largest in terms of freight tonne kilometres flown. Emirates was born in March of 1985 with the backing from Dubai's royal family. Pakistan International Airlines provided two of the airline's first aircraft on wet lease. Thankfully for Emirates, Pakistan International Airlines provided training facilities for the Emirates cabin crew as well. By the early 1990s, Emirates was among some of the world's fastest growing airlines. The revenue increased to approximately US $100 million every single year for Emirates. The airline would carry 1.6 million passengers and around 68,000 tonnes of cargo in the same year. The partnership with US Airways in 1993 helped it launch round the world services. Two years later, the airline began to expand its fleet with a number of A300s and A310s coming into service for the airline. As time went on, the airline gained more aircraft, including its first Boeing 777, and further expanded with a route into Melbourne via Singapore. The fleet of Emirates is something that I think a lot of airlines would absolutely love to have. They are the largest operators of both the Boeing 777 and Airbus A380. What's even crazier is the fact Emirates are still awaiting more deliveries of both the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 777-300ER. The airline currently has 244 aircraft in the fleet with the Boeing 777-200LR, and I'm unsure on this particular part, but the Boeing 777-300, uh, that might not be operational at the time of recording. Uh, that is the one without the extended range if you are unsure of the difference between the ER variant and the non-ER variant. The airline has 35 of the Boeing 777-8s on order and 115 of the Boeing 777-9s on order. The 777-9 deliveries will commence from 2020 with the Dash 8 following two years later. A screenshot will have been up throughout this bit showcasing the fleet for you. The airline also has 40 of the Boeing 787-10s on order, which is the newest variant to the Boeing 787 family. When it comes to the executive fleet of Emirates, they just have the one aircraft, which is the Airbus A319-100. Even though Emirates' fleet is quite big, it's almost restricted in variety, with them only opting essentially for the A380 and the 777. However, the past fleet of Emirates has certainly been put away from the public and has not really been spoken about. However, despite this, I'd really like to talk about their past fleet, as it's absolutely fantastic and has quite a fair bit more variety than the current fleet of Emirates. There'll be a screenshot now on your screen of the past aircraft since 1985 when the airline was introduced. Some of the highlights for me are the A340, 727-200 and A330. Now onto the A380 and how Emirates have brought a new spark into the dying program that Airbus have created. The A380 to people who are not familiar with aviation is essentially another 747. Even though the A380 is a complete double-decker aircraft, it was essentially the rival to Boeing's double-decker aircraft, the 747 or newly created 7478. Unfortunately, despite getting a number of orders which were mainly from Emirates, the A380 did not perform as well as Airbus probably would have liked. Hence, since the introduction, they have certainly slowed down the production rate with all Nippon Airways the last airline to order them. Mind you, the airline only ordered three and delivery will commence in 2019 for those. An interesting point that I noticed was the plans for the A380-863F, which never actually eventuated, but if we get straight to the point, Emirates actually had orders for this aircraft before removing them, which is interesting in the grand scheme of cargo aircraft. In the recent year that went by, Airbus also launched the A380+, Plus, and no doubt they had the intention to get Emirates interested in it with, to further revive the A380 program. Although Emirates have expressed interest, they have made it clear if they were to order it, they would want to remove their oldest A380s from their fleet. 
However, they wouldn't want the A380s going to the scrap heap, rather an airline. But with no interest, it's becoming difficult for Emirates to put faith in the program. It was rumoured during the Dubai Air Show Emirates would finally announce the order for 40 of the A380 Pluses. However, almost as a big stuff you to Airbus, Emirates announced an order from the rival of Airbus, Boeing, for 40 of the new 78710s instead. Whether this means in the next 10 years we could see an all Boeing fleet for Emirates, I'm still unsure, but feel free to comment your thoughts not only on Emirates and the A380 Plus, but also their rise and constant expansion into new areas of the world. Thank you very much for watching another analysis of mine on an airline. Thank you all for the support, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.